In Japan, geisha is an artist. She plays instruments, dances, and sings to entertain her guests. She brings you to a surreal world only with beauty, elegance, and art. Geisha is different from yujo. Unlike yujo, geisha is not allowed to have sexual relationship with her customer. In the final years of Tokugawa Shogunate, military government of Japan during Edo period, there was a famous geisha, Nakanishi Kimio. Kimio was born in 1844. Her father was a samurai, but when she was 18 years old, her father died. She then moved to Gion in Kyoto and started to work as a geisha and performed in a tea house called Yupi. Kimio was beautiful and diligent in geisha training. She trained in playing instruments, dancing, etiquette, and sado tea ceremony. With her beauty and talents, Kimio quickly became a popular geisha. During that time, Japan was under the rule of Tokugawa Shogunate, which was the feudal military government. The shoguns governed Japan in a feudal system, with each daimyo administrating a domain. Each daimyo hired an army of samurai to protect his family's lives and properties. In late Edo periods, Soshu Domain and Zazuma Domain joined together to overthrow the Tokugawa shogunate, hoping to restore the imperial rule of Emperor Meiji. They were in a furious battle in Kyoto. The samurai of Aiden Meiji's side of Shogunate's side often met at the tea house for secret talks. Many of the key figures were the regular customers of Kimio's tea house. Shinsaku Takasuki was one of them. Takasuki was the samurai from Choshu Domain who contributed significantly to the later Meiji restoration. He used to travel to and from Kyoto and was a frequent visitor to Kimio's tea house. One day in 1862, Takasuki came with his friend Inoue Kaolu, who later served as the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Minister of Finance in Meiji government. When Kaolu saw Kimio, he was attracted by her immediately. Under the introduction from Takasuki, they met and soon fell in love. The relationship developed very quickly. However, during this turbulent era, Kaolu wanted to be dedicated to his work and was not ready to build a family. Soon afterwards, a powerful and high-ranking samurai of the shogunate, Shimada Sakun, also met Kimio in the tea house and was interested in her. Sakun was a very powerful samurai of the shogunate. Many geisha wanted to capture his attention and win his favor, but he only liked Kimio and even proposed to her. Kimio was surprised, but still resolutely rejected him because she was deeply in love with Kaolu and did not care about his power. When Kaolu knew about it, he was touched, but Kaolu was a rational man. He took it as an opportunity and came up with a plan. He asked Kimio to marry Sakun and to secretly collect information about the activity of the shogunate. Kimio understood that this plan was risky. However, she really wanted to support her lover, Kaolu. So she finally agreed and reluctantly married Sakun. After the marriage, Sakun pampered Kimio with everything she wanted. So she was able to collect many information from the shogunate. Thanks to her effort, many people from the Meiji side were able to escape from the assassination. At the same time, Saku knew that he was also targeted by his enemies, so he kept moving from place to place to prevent from being chased. In 1862, Kimio deliberately leaked the whereabout of Sakun, so the Meiji side was successful to murder and behead him. After the mission, Kimio returned to the tea house. Sadly, there was no fairy tale happy ending to her love story. 
In the next year, her lover Kalu decided to study abroad in Britain because he recognized that Japan needed to learn from the Western powers. Before he left, he came to say goodbye to Kimio. He told her that they might not be able to meet again. Kimio gave him a bronze mirror, telling him that when he carried the mirror, he could remember her. Kalu also gave her his samurai sword. Later, when Kaoru returned to Japan after studies, he began to advocate business with foreign countries. That caused the dissatisfaction from those who were still anti-foreigner. He became the assassination target, and his enemies planned to murder him in a hot spring area. Luckily, when the knife was about to pierce his chest, Kimio's mirror coincidentally broke the knife. Kalu was unable to get out at once. Although many people were obsessed with Kimio, she had to remain single since she was separate from Kalu. Until a few years later, she met Shinagawa Yajiro, who was the samurai of Choshu Domain and later became the home minister in Meiji government. The two fell in love and had a daughter. However, it was not easy for a geisha to become someone's wife. There was a controversy over whether they finally got married. In historical record, Yajiro's wife was not Kimio, but his wife was Shizuko. But some people still believed the two got married and wrote a military song together for the army in the Boshin War launched by the Meiji government to defeat the Edo Shogunate in 1868. It was considered to be the earliest military song in Japan. Kimiya was the composer, while Yajiro was the lyricist. But currently, more documents show that the composer should be another person rather than Kimiya. No matter which was the truth, even after Meiji Restoration, Kimio still worked as a geisha in Juon for a long time. She died at the age of 75 in 1918. Finally, Kimio was buried in Saikyo district in Kyoto. As a geisha, Kimio always brought people a brilliant and surreal experience only with beauty and happiness. But when she fell in love, she was just like any other woman who sacrificed everything for her lover and might not expect anything in return.